Today, I wanted to tell you about something that's slightly different. Part of my research group is Moving Lab. Moving Lab is a bit like moving house, except we're just moving from one room in the building to another. But unlike living in a house, when you set up a lab, you don't move things around quite as much as you do in your house. So when you start taking things in bits, they may have been in the same place for years. And my group has been in the lab for at least 12 years. And therefore, when we start taking things to bits, we discover all sorts of things that we'd forgotten about. Even I found notebooks from students that I'd forgotten their name. They're chemicals that we found that are really quite old. One of my students got really excited. This bottle's older than me, she said. And then we rediscover things which remind me of experiments, really successful experiments, ones that didn't work. So it's quite sad in a nostalgic way. The lab we were in wasn't very good in some ways. It had a public corridor going through the middle so we could never lock it. We were always shouting at people because they were coming through without safety glasses. So the new lab is going to be much better. Nice and clean with lockable doors and a communicating door to the rest of my group. So it's going to be very positive. But moving everything is a big hassle. It's not often when you see videos about research groups that you see the housekeeping, you see how people have to move rooms and so on. So I wanted you to share this moment with us so you can see new exciting experiments are going to take place, but you want to see the anguish beforehand. Both the labs, the old one and new one, are on the first floor of our building, which is called the B floor. The ground floor is A and the top floor is C. So we're going from lab B11 to B21. So it's not very far. In distance, it's probably 50 meters. But for all the hassle of undoing it, we could be moving to another town. It wouldn't make much difference, except we don't need the lorry. I think it's always slightly sad, and I'm the sort of person that gets quite attached to places, but on the other hand, I've realised for some time that this is not the ideal place for my colleagues to work. So I think I'm quite positive about this particular move. Always in university labs, there's a shortage of space. So you have to try and make everything as compact as possible. So some of our equipment sadly will have to go away, but if you haven't used an instrument for 10 years or so, there really isn't much point in keeping it because you may not get it to start again. And if you do, it's not nearly as good as a modern one. So it's probably better to try and replace it with something that's up to date so you get better results. Disposing of chemicals is something that one has to take very seriously. They obviously cannot go down the drains and so on. So the chemicals are disposed of by a professional commercial disposal company. What we have to do is to label them, say what they are, so people know how to dispose of them. Usually we try and minimise the stock of chemicals we have because it's expensive getting rid of them. But in this case, quite a lot of things have accumulated from different projects and so we're having a big clear out. Sometimes you'll find there's a colleague down the corridor who'd really like to have the chemical for their experiment and then we just give them away. <laughs>